September 26, the Charlotte Hornets would sign Jello to a non-guaranteed contract. What this contract would do for Jello is it would allow him to compete for a roster spot ahead of the NBA season. As we all know, making the NBA is incredibly tough, and I know there are a lot of people that want to crap on Jello for even getting this contract, but that's not going to be me. I'm very excited for Jello, and I want him to make the most of every opportunity that he gets. That being said, I'm not oblivious. I recognize Jello is a hard worker and solid basketball player, but I also recognize the fact that he's freaking Mello's brother. That alone carries a ton of weight, especially when you consider that Mello is the Charlotte Hornets franchise player. I don't care what Mitch Kupchak says, I don't care what anybody over there in Charlotte says. LaMelo Ball is the best player on the Charlotte Hornets roster. If you're running that team, if you're the GM of that team, you're probably going to do what you have to do to keep him happy. It just so happens that keeping your franchise player happy in this case can also net you a decent prospect or at the very worst, solid basketball player. Note that I didn't say solid NBA player yet because while I'm no hater, that just remains to be seen. I've seen guys dominate the summer league and I've seen guys dominate the preseason and then go on to do absolutely nothing in the NBA. Now before I get too far into the video and talk about these performances and everything else, I want to let you guys know that there's a scammer going around in the comment section pretending to be me. Guys, I will never ask for any of your personal information to do a giveaway. If I'm ever doing a giveaway, I'm straight up going to be giving away codes and I'll do that giveaway on my channel or I'll do it on my Twitter, which is actually on the screen right now. I'll be sending out tweets looking for guys to run 2K with and also I'll be doing a giveaway really soon in the comments below let me know what I should give away. Now remember guys, it has to be a code. Now to get back to talking about Jello, let's get Zoe's reaction to him joining the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, I mean, his, his journey's a little unique, um, definitely different than me, you know, or Mellows, but um, this is his path and, you know, God put him in his place right here, right now. And I told him just to make the most of it, you know, go out there and, and do what you know you can do and let the chips fall where they may. Zoe is absolutely right. Jello, Zoe, and Mello did not share the same path to the league at all. Melo decided not to go to college, hooped in the NBL, and became the third overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Zoe went to UCLA, absolutely bald, and then became the second overall pick in the 2016 NBA draft. And while Jello went to UCLA too, he unfortunately ended up getting into trouble, never playing a regular season game for the Bruins. And in my opinion, that was one of the biggest detriments to his career. At the very least, it gave him a completely different path to the league. Now, before I talk about his path to the NBA, the reason that I say, or I at least felt that this was a detriment, was because I thought that Jello was going to be so good in a college basketball system. If Jello goes to UCLA for a couple of years, becomes a starter, maybe, just maybe, Melo decides to go to UCLA. If Melo goes to UCLA, there's one thing that I'm going to know that he's going to make sure of, and that's that he's going to make sure that Jello eats. And of course, that's huge, because it's really hard to get going if you're not getting the ball, and if you are playing with people who don't have confidence in you, whether it be your coach, your teammates, the franchise, wherever. Now, while we're on the topic of Mello, I'd like to show you guys Mello's reaction to Jello getting that non-guaranteed contract September 26th. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's great to watch. You, I mean, just seeing a human, you know, for something they really want, work for their whole life, just working so hard. It's honestly a blessing to watch for real. And it just could mean that much more when you really make it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to Jello, while I think he's gotten a solid amount of opportunity in his career, I feel like every opportunity that he's gotten has not allowed him to be more than he is or showcase what he can really do. And I'm not faulting any of the situations that he's been in, but I would like to discuss some of them. In 2020, Jello was signed with the OKC Blue, but he'd only get to play one game before the entire league would get shut down because of the pandemic. Following that, Jello would find himself in Detroit competing for a roster spot. 
I use the word competing loosely because it feels like Jello just really never had a chance and whether you believe that he deserved one or not is not really relative to what I'm saying. There were a few clips of him here and there, but ultimately he wouldn't play a minute in the preseason. Maybe the team didn't like what they were seeing at training camp, or maybe he was a camp body all along. All in all, I thought it was unfortunate that he didn't get any burn. Following that, Jello would find himself closer to his younger brother Melo than ever, joining the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA Summer League and knocking down five threes in his debut. He also showcased great energy. This was huge because if there's any role for Jello in today's NBA, it's going to be somebody that can knock down threes and challenge players on the other side of the basketball. I know that some people hear this and they think 3 and D, but I'm just not sure that he has that prototypical size that you would like. Now, before you guys think that I'm selling Jello short, while he is only around 6'4", 6'5", he does possess a 6'9 wingspan. This is something that can only be seen as a massive plus and would bode well for Jello on the defensive side of the basketball. Anyways, Jello would finish this summer league averaging around 10 points and almost 15 minutes per game while shooting 34.5% from three. I told you guys he brought the energy, right? Well, he also averaged 1.6 steals per game. After this, Jello would find his next opportunity in the G League. Here is the fun part. In the G League, Jello would have another nice debut. I know what you guys are thinking. This is some premium gas, but it's really not because Jello would drop 22 points in his debut despite some very interesting coaching. Despite a nice debut and good showcase cup numbers, Jello's numbers during the actual G League season wouldn't look very good. Only averaging around five points and shooting 36% from the three point line and 40% from the field. Jello's time in the G League would frustrate LeVar saying that they don't understand what they have. They need to let my guy go ahead and play. I drive them a superstar in the G League and they don't know what to do with them. If there's one thing I love about LeVar, it's his confidence and not just in himself, but I mean really in his kids. He's another guy with a lot of haters, but I'm not going to be mad at somebody for supporting their kids at the end of the day. While I'm not going to be mad for the Charlotte Hornets giving Jello an opportunity in the G League, I kind of question the way that they went about it and also I question what their plans are for Jello as a whole. In Jello's first four preseason games, he wouldn't see much action. And like I said, I can be real, he hasn't exactly looked like the Jello that I would like to see. Now that's not to say that clips like this Euro step aren't nice, that's just more so to say that I'd really like to see him do more and also get more opportunity. Whether that's with the Hornets in a preseason game, the G League, wherever, if it's overseas, I just think that he really needs the opportunity to play and to continue to feel out his game. Again, I'm a fan of Jello, but I'm also a realist. I recognize that if he wants to play in the NBA and be a solid role player, that he does have some work to do. This is going to sound really dumb, but I wish that there were two NBA Summer Leagues, or maybe the, the original Summer League was just longer. I think that there's a lot of talent in the game of basketball and in the NBA, but I don't think that everybody gets the opportunity to show it, Jello aside. The other day, I literally tweeted that I think the NBA is too talented. It really is time for an expansion. I need more people getting their opportunity. I know I can't be the only one that feels this way. Let me know if you also do down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think would be best for Jello going forward. Imagine being subbed into a game and feeling like you have to make some crazy impact in eight minutes. Again, Jello aside, the road to the NBA can be rough, especially for a lot of these non-guaranteed guys. Again, guys, let me know what you think of everything down in the comments below. I want to emphasize that I love Jello. I love the Ball family. This is literally somebody that I'm rooting for. And while he is Melo's brother, I do want him in the best basketball situation possible. Whether that be Charlotte or wherever, I just know that Charlotte has a lot of talented guards, but hey, that's a topic for another video. Also, Charlotte, you've got these talented guards. Let's get them some minutes this season. Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Gil Coop, bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.